Senators from both sides of the aisle say they are frustrated over the lack of action in Congress to deal with the issue of migrant families separated at the border. The Trump administration failed to meet a Tuesday deadline to reunite children under five years old with their parents. Anna Warnicke from our Washington, D.C. Bureau has more. This is an outrage. Illinois Democrat Dick Durbin says dozens of migrant children under five years old are still separated from their parents. The Trump administration continues to try to shift the blame for this humanitarian crisis. The Trump administration has already failed to meet a Tuesday court order deadline to reunite the youngest children with their families. We still don't know the fate of thousands of other children who are supposed to be reunited in just a few days. Durbin says Congress must take action to protect the migrant families. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn says he's introduced a bill to do just that. I'm disappointed we haven't already passed that. But so far, Cornyn says his Keep Families Together and Enforce the Law Act doesn't have the votes to pass. It's uh, very frustrating around here when people agree that families should not be separated, that we can't pass a law piece of legislation which guarantees that. Cornyn's bill would allow the government to hold the families together until their hearing, which Democrats oppose. It would also hire new immigration judges, which the Trump administration says is a non-starter. It's a real bureaucratic nightmare, unfortunately. Doris Meisner, the former commissioner of the U.S. Immigration and Naturalization Service, says the flood of arrests at the border has simply overwhelmed the immigration system. The parents were put on one legal track, the children on another legal track, and the records that go with them were separated. Meisner says she's not sure congressional action will help if the president continues to insist on his policy of zero tolerance enforcement. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.